So now we're inside of our DAW. Let's jump in here. I have a project opened, a blank project, except for Serum on here, and we'll show you how to set up all the inputs and such. We have an empty MIDI track here. Now what we can do is we're gonna wanna run over to our instruments and then inside of instruments, and this is gonna be in a different spot depending on your DAW, but we have this right here called external instrument. So we can toss that on a MIDI track and then we're gonna make this one all big because this is what we're dealing with. Most of your controls are gonna be down in this external instrument device. First of all, we're gonna do MIDI two. Now what that means is if you have MIDI on your track, it's gonna send MIDI to whatever's there. Now if I open this up, it should see Arteria Micro Freak. And that is because I have it plugged in with USB MIDI rather than just MIDI. So we have the MIDI two Micro Freak and down here we have the MIDI channel. I'm just gonna keep it on channel one. And then we have audio from. This is where it's gonna kind of be up to where you have plugged your audio cable in, which input of your interface. So for me, that is input number three. So we'll click that right there. And then if I play, we can see here that it's actually coming through. So I have audio from three, my synthesizer's on three. And then when I play notes, we can see that my external instrument is peaking there. And we also see it down here. From here, we are pretty much done. However, we have a few more steps if we actually wanna record. All right, so I have put some chords in here using Cthulhu because I'm lazy, and we are going to use this as our demonstration. So if we look, we have just some MIDI notes in here in the external instrument, just some chords. Now that we have our external instrument routed so that MIDI goes to the micro freak and we get the audio back from it, if we go ahead and play this, There we go. And that is pretty much it in terms of getting your MIDI set up and getting it to send MIDI to the synthesizer. So now if I just loop this very boring sequence here, if I mess with the synthesizer over here, some of the controls, the filter, all that kind of stuff, then it will affect what it, you are hearing inside of the program. synthesizer but now you have here if you remember we put this exter external instrument on a midi track so if we try to record the sounds that are playing whenever we play back the midi watch what happens it's going to erase the midi that we have there because it is only wanting to record midi so next what we are going to do is we are going to bring in an audio track and I'm gonna place that up here. And then on this audio track, we are going to hit external instrument. We'll do post mixer. So now this audio track here is getting audio from the external instrument track. Now you also could just do external in and click on whatever track your synthesizer is plugged into. I'm gonna do it the way where it has the exact input of the external instrument just so there's no latency issues, but it will work either way. I've done it both ways. It's kind of preference. Bottom line is you're going to need another track for the audio since the MIDI is on just a MIDI track and they don't technically record audio. Now, if we want to record this, we will hit record there. So now we have audio from this. So if we mute this track up here, you'll hear that we still have it. And if you noticed, you hear that filter sweep? So while it was recording, I went over here and messed with the filter cutoff on the synthesizer. And so that was recorded into the audio, which is super cool. That is one of the downsides here of using an external synthesizer is all the things you're doing on it, effects, filters, are baked in. You can't just go in and change them later. You'll have to re-record if you wanna change something like that. You also can not do this, and then you can bounce out your track, and when you export it, at least in Ableton, you can have it record in real time the external instrument track, and it'll just play it and record it. 
I don't like doing it that way. It's crashed on me a few times. There's some weird stuff. So what I like to do is I don't worry about recording this audio for the fact that it I can hear it while I'm making the song. So I keep it just in MIDI form until the very end. So I can play with filters, figure out how I wanna do things. I know when filter sweeps are and that kind of stuff. So that when I'm ready to go and record the final take, I'll usually just do the full song then I'll do all my filter sweeps, any changes to the synthesizer settings while recording the audio, and then we're all good. Now, technically you could go and add a filter and other effects into the DAW instead of doing it on the synthesizer. I like doing it all analog, especially because the Micro Freak has an analog filter, so I think it sounds a little better. So bottom line is that this is gonna be a really cool way for you to set up your synths, and it's not that hard. So we went over how to plug in your synthesizer and we also went over how to set it up inside of your DAW. Now, like I said, every DAW is gonna be a little different, but they're all gonna be pretty similar and all the ones I've used have an external instrument plugin or effect because they're made to be used by musicians and most musicians are gonna have some kind of external instrument. That's gonna be it for me today. If you want more videos like this, how to use hardware or software, so on and so forth, definitely let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more music related content in the very, very, very near future. So I'll stop rambling. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one.